Hi, welcome to the Twitch dry needling video training series, where I'll show you a fantastic dry needling technique followed by a manual therapy technique to get great results for your patients every time. Okay, what do you do with somebody who's got an ankle sprain and recovering from that? Foot pain, heel pain, even calf pain. A muscle that I really want you to have a look at is QP. QP, otherwise known as flexor accessorius, on the bottom of the foot, plantar surface, attaches to FTL, flexor digitorum longus, and can limit dorsiflexion. So it's really important to have a look at that muscle in terms of dry needling for any types of injuries just like those. So let's have a look at QP just down here. Needling to that muscle is very straightforward and very effective at getting great results in not only local pain around the plantar fascia, but also heel pain and of course limited dorsiflexion. So as a follow-up manual therapy technique, what you can do is place the knee in this position here. We've got this amount of dorsiflexion available at the tip talo joint. We can articulate using this applicator here on the shin with your right hand like this, holding back here on the talus and we're articulating, articulating into an AP direction like this. And as we get more and more movement through that joint in this range, this can be moved into more and more knee flexion, which is gonna cause more and more dorsiflexion, and we tend to go into more AP glide, just like this. As you can see, if we take it all the way up to here, we've got more and more dorsiflexion. So at this point here, we've got fair amount of movement in that dorsiflexion, motion at the tip tailor joint, and AP glide, great motion in here, and that's a great follow-up technique once you've needled QP on the sole of the foot. Hope that helps.